a look behind the scenes of Martin Scorsese's gangster film, The Departed, which finally won him an Oscar. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson, Vera Farmiga, and Mark Wahlberg, the film is now 15 years old. Find out some interesting facts about its making. By Michael Balderston. Jack Nicholson almost didn't star in The Departed. His notorious character Frank Costello was not fully developed until after Nicholson accepted the role. The character was later built, layer by layer, with Nicholson adding his own touches to the villainous mob boss. Nicholson's performance was praised despite his inconsistent Boston accent. The role was rumored to be based on notorious Boston gangster Whitey Bulger. Leonardo DiCaprio initially wasn't sure which role to play in the movie The Departed, between the central moles Billy Costigan and Colin Sullivan. He saw a duality in the characters, describing them as two sides of the same coin. Director Martin Scorsese ultimately decided DiCaprio was best suited for the role of Billy, though he had to figure out how to play the character's fear for his life while pretending to be someone he wasn't. Robert De Niro almost starred in Martin Scorsese's The Departed, alongside Leonardo DiCaprio, but ultimately decided to direct his own film instead. De Niro and Scorsese have a long-standing collaborative history, with notable films including Mean Streets, Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, Cape Fear, and Goodfellas. However, the two did reunite in 2019 for The Irishman. In news today, it has been revealed that Brad Pitt was almost cast in the 2006 hit movie, The Departed, alongside Leonardo DiCaprio. Reports indicate that at one point, Pitt was in talks to play one of the lead roles, but ultimately turned it down, with Matt Damon snagging the role instead. However, Pitt remained involved in the production as a producer. Fans of DiCaprio and Pitt's on-screen chemistry needn't despair, though, as the two eventually starred alongside each other in 2019's Once Upon a Time, in Hollywood. Actress Vera Farmiga turned to a police psychologist from the LAPD to help her better understand her character in the film, The Departed. Farmiga plays Madeline, a psychiatrist who forms a connection with two conflicting characters. The actress recognized a fatal flaw in Madeline's character and sought advice from the psychologist, who deemed Madeline's behavior preposterous. This insight helped Farmiga bring more depth to her character. The excess in The Departed indicate which characters are marked for death, but did you know that this symbol is actually a reference to another classic gangster film, Scarface? Director Martin Scorsese paid homage to Howard Hawke's 1932 film by using this tactic. Keep an eye out for the excess next time you watch The Departed. In a recent interview, Martin Scorsese admitted that post-production on his film, The Departed, was highly unpleasant. The acclaimed director acknowledged the difficulty of the process, but ultimately bounced back and continued making movies, though not a sequel to The Departed. Martin Scorsese reportedly never expected his film, The Departed, to win any awards due to its violent and vile content. Collaborator Emma tillinger koskoff shared that Scorsese was proud of the film but believed it wouldn't be Academy-friendly. The film surprised everyone when it won Best Director at the Oscars. The Academy continued to make bold choices with their selection of No Country for Old Men the following year.